George Washington was a good general. He understood the use of terrain in combat. And if you look at this area here, you can see there's only one way in and out realistically. And if you got in there, a very small force could hold off a very large force. Plus, there was ample water, food, and supplies readily off the land. With the Revolutionary War undecided at Valley Forge, George Washington and Daniel Morgan had a backup plan if things did not go well in the summer of 1778. The backup plan was to retreat to the Shenandoah Valley, specifically Fort Valley. Fort Valley is a 23 mile long valley contained within the Massanutten Mountains in Virginia. The sides of Fort Valley are high and steep and the access points are few. Even today, Fort Valley has a stream for water supply and abundant game. From the ridgeline of Fort Valley, any British colonial force could be seen for days before it arrived. The Massanutten Mountain is the eastern ridgeline of Fort Valley splitting the Shenandoah Valley into two parts. The wider path where Interstate 81 and US Route 11 are today contains the Great Warrior Path or Great Indian War Path. The narrower side is where modern-day U.S. 340 is located. Massanutten Mountain Fort Valley runs from Front Royal to Harrisonburg. A military force within Fort Valley would be able to hold off and harass a force many times its size. While at Valley Forge, Washington dispatched Morgan to make Fort Valley ready. Morgan began building a road at the northern end of Fort Valley near Front Royal at a place called Elizabeth Furnace. This entrance of Fort Valley is easily defended. It would be an ideal place to launch attacks on larger forces supply lines in Front Royal. Any force traversing the Luray Valley or the New Market Valley would have vulnerable supply lines from a military force within Fort Valley, whether they were coming from the north or the south. Morgan and Washington, both Virginians, were a formidable combination. Both Washington and Morgan were experienced, tough, outdoors people accustomed to living off the land. Daniel Morgan was in command of the 7th Virginia Riflemen, known for their expert marksmanship. Morgan himself was a highly regarded guerrilla fighter. Once Morgan had a rifle ball enter the back of his left jaw, tearing out all of his teeth in the left side of his mouth. Morgan is later credited as the architect of the colonial victory at the Battle of Cowpens. Washington and Morgan's strengths complemented each other. Washington was a great leader who could hold an army together. Morgan was exceptional in guerrilla tactics. Both holding up in Fort Valley would be difficult for any 18th century army to deal with. Washington most likely became aware of Fort Valley in 1750 when he was surveying the northern Shenandoah Valley. Morgan, from Winchester, Virginia, could see the Massanutten from in and around his home. Both understood the incredible defensive position that Fort Valley afforded. The summer of 1778 went well for the Revolutionary Army. Washington recalled Morgan from Fort Valley to rejoin the army. Fort Valley was never used as Washington and Morgan had imagined. The fact that both commanders thought of Fort Valley to keep the revolution going was a testament to their commitment to the revolution. The use of Fort Valley is one of those historical might-have-beens that never happened. Fort Valley today is very much like it was when Morgan, Washington, and native people saw it. Today, you can hike the Massanutten Ridge Trail to get a feel of what it was like during the time of the revolution, or as the Native Americans saw it. Thanks for watching. If you found this video informative, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, visit our gift shop, or support our channel on Tipchar. We hope you find your guiding star.